Hello everyone, my name is Hector Mendoza. I had a friend that wanted uh, me to show her how I added inches with feet and decimals and converting them because uh, some applications want you to put in decimals, some applications allow you to use inches, well feet, inches, and uh, fractions of inches. So there's a lot of programs, applicate, well, I don't know about programs, but there are a lot of apps that um, <clears throat> let you do this. For instance, there's one app called DeWalt Mobile Pro. Okay, so I have my phone up on the uh, screen. And this program is no longer download, downloadable, but if you have it, then um, this is a pretty nice program to use when you're in the field. Now, <clears throat> you see right here what it says. It says DeWalt has decided to discontinue DeWalt Mo uh, Mobile Pro. Okay, so if I click on more, it, it talks about that um, you can actually purchase it on, uh, uh, but... I, I couldn't find it, but it uh, it does tell you that it's still for sale. Okay, uh, I don't think it costs a lot of money, but there are other applications that also do similar to this. Let, let me show you what this uh, program does or app. If I had a uh, 25 feet, 3 inch, and then I want to multiply by 4 feet, 2 inch, it would give me this calculation. Now, you see right here, at the end, it gives it to me in decimals, right? Okay, well, what happens if you wanted to put that in inches? There's a formula that you can convert that point two zero eight three 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 into, I don't care if it's 64, 32, 16, one quarter, half, or whatever. There's a formula for that. Now, so let me show you what I created. And I have two different uh, two Excel files that you would be able to download. I'll have a link. That link would be, uh, I'll leave it on the screen. You see it right here? I'll leave it there for just a second. So you can pause it. Or you can copy and paste that link which is going to be on my description and you'll be able to copy and paste it okay uh so uh, <clears throat> so it's two excel files that i've created so let, let, let me show you um i'm going to bring this calculator and show you what each one of these things uh i'm going to write some numbers give me a second that way I can show you the difference between both of those Excel files. I'm going to say 2 feet 3 inches, 4 feet 6 inches, 5 feet 1 inch, 10 feet 8 inches. Okay, so, <clears throat> so I'm going to put the calculations. First, I'm going to put it on my calculator. That way you can see how accurate my, uh, my formulas are. So... And also, I want to see, make sure that I'm, I didn't mess up any of my calculations, uh, formulas. So, oh, yeah, I'm going to cancel out of there. Okay, so, first I got 2 feet, 3 inch, I'm going to hit plus, 4 feet, 6 inch, plus, 5 feet, 1 inch, plus, 10 feet, 8 inch, equals... So the total is 22 feet, 6 inch. Okay, so we're going to do this in each one of these uh, Excel files that I have. And the difference between this one and this one here is that this one here, you can go all the way to the 64th of an inch. Here, you're going to round off to the nearest inch. So let's, let's go ahead and put those two figures on each one of this uh, thing. So 
Here I got two feet. Um, so the, the way I have to do it here, you would hit two feet, you put a dash, then you put three, shift. That's how you would add. I have a, a, a sample of how you would actually do the, here's a sample how you would enter feet, inches, and, and uh, 64th of an inch, okay? So let me go ahead and add the next one, four feet, oops, dash, six inch, okay? Uh, then I got five feet and one inch, okay? And then I got 10 feet, eight, oops, Okay. Oh, I, I'm going to go ahead and make a mistake. So, 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 so if you get this error, um, you'll know what's going on. Okay. So once you add all the numbers that you want to calculate, I don't care if you want to add, subtract, multiply, or divide, uh, divide, you would go in here, you would add all the numbers that you want. You would click here, hold your left mouse, and you see this little dot on the right-hand corner? If you click and hold down the mouse until you go to the last uh, number, you release, then it converts from two feet, three inch into to a decimals, right? I made a mistake right here, so you could see, if you see this right here, then your calculations are wrong. I mean, you, you wouldn't mess with this part, you would mess with this. And so if you click here, you'll see that after the 10 feet, I should have put a dash in there and hit enter. Now it converted it. Okay. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do, and remember, so, uh, so we have 22 feet, six inches. And right here, we got 22. 0.5, which is the same thing as six inches, and I went ahead and converted it here to 22.6. Okay, now let me go ahead and do the same thing on this other thing I created. Now this one's a little easier for y'all because remember, in the uh, I usually teach people in the adjusting field, but this would uh, relate to anybody. So let's say that you didn't have to worry about. 30 seconds of an inch, 6 tenths, all that stuff, and you were just wanting to see feet and inches, then all you would have to hit is 2, tab, 3, return, uh, 4, tab, 6, return, uh, 5, tab, 1, return, 10, tab, 8, return. Okay, so, so it's faster because we're not having to break it down into inches. Okay, so... As you notice, here's my calculator on my phone using that uh, DeWalt calculator. And see, this is what it did. It converted it here for me, 22 feet, 6 inches. Okay, now, let's say that I wanted to multiply that. So what we're going to do here is we're going to multiply it by, let's say, um, four, four times, right? So if I hit four, oh, uh, excuse me, I, I have to use my phone. So I said times four equals 90, right? So let's see if, if mine will work. So if I come down here, you see where I have this multiplication right here, X? If I, what did I say times five? Let me see. Um, Oh, okay, okay, okay. First of all, excuse me. So you see this number right here? You you need to bring this down. You you need to put twenty two, tab six. The numbers you see up here, you have to bring them down here. Okay. So, um, so I, I multiplied by five. So uh, I don't I don't know. Let me see. Uh, let me go back. Okay. So. Let, let, let me do that calculation again because I, I I I couldn't remember what I multiplied that times. But we we'll go ahead and do it again. Watch. So I'm gonna say we have 22 feet 
six inch and I said pound five equals right here 112.5 which is the same as 112 and six inches and that's what you see here same thing with this other thing I have here so if I click here and I multiply by five all I do is see right here it says multiply okay if I click here and just put a five and hit enter then you're gonna get the same thing 112.5 which is the same thing as 112 and six inches and uh, so let's go back and get that same number and um, which was 22 5 right and we're gonna this time we're gonna divide it by 6 so it's already got the 6 there but look so now it's 22 feet 6 inch divided by 6 equals so the total should be um, 3 feet 9 inches and you see it right here and or is 3.75 now we're going to do the same thing here and uh what i said divided by so we come down here what that divided by is and i think i said six so i'm going to hit six enter and we got the same thing 3.75 or 3.75 about three feet nine inch so <clears throat> if uh, if I was using or if I was measuring something and I wasn't worrying about the sixteenth of an inch thirty sec seconds of an inch this calculations that I created it's a lot easier than this one's here now for me it's not because I know what I have to do because I uh, you know I created this formulas for for this particular uh, uh, document so you know I know five feet two inch you know it's easy for me to do this and I will just click here now see it automatically updates everything for me so if you want a copy of this you can download this um, here's the web uh, the, here's the web link now remember if you look underneath my page you're gonna see where you can copy and paste it and what that's gonna do it'll take here let me show you what it does okay so let's say you're gonna go in here you're gonna copy this from my uh, uh, YouTube you're gonna go to a web browser let's open up in another okay so and you would get that link and you hit control V for pasting then you hit enter it's gonna bring you to this page right here and so um, all you would have to do is grab this uh, let me see something here either you can um, click here and then you would just download it okay so you, you'll see this page. When you click here, it'll give you the option to download. This is my page, so uh, it's asking me if I wanted to upload anything. But yours would, would give you a thing here where it says download. And it, it'll actually download both of those documents. And it'll, it'll be a, a, a stuffed file. But, uh, you know, you'll be able to uh, unstuff it and, and use it. Now, when you open it up, um when you open it up you might have to uh click on a button to tell it um uh, you'll see a yellow line i can't remember what it says but make sure you click on it otherwise you won't be able to use those calculations <clears throat> uh, my name's hector mendoza uh have fun with this calculations they work real good for me so uh, have a good day bye